Hello everybody, I'm Mr. PT Classics and welcome to my continuation of Bayarn's Homestead, Dol Guldor and Mirkwood Forest in Free Roam, completing all the available quests towards 100% completion. If you enjoy the video then please click the like and subscribe buttons and I will catch you in the next video. Most people fear the one-armed orc, but I think he's just misunderstood. Thought I could cheer him up a bit with this fake armor built from twigs and goat hair. He'd like that, wouldn't he? I know a place where his company passes through all the time, but it's dangerous even for orcs. Be a pal and watch my back, would you? People fear the one armed orc, but I think he's just misunderstood. Thought I could cheer him up a bit with this fake armor built from twigs and goat hair. He'd like that, wouldn't he? I know a place where his company passes through all the time, but it's dangerous even for orcs. Be a pal and watch my back, would you?
wasn't it? <laughs> if that's the kind of company Azog keeps, then no wonder he's so grumpy all the time. Now, to find a cushion or something to hide this arm behind. Cheers for the help. <laughs>
was someone. I remember a time when we had meat every day. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> it's been too long since the lads and I snacked on a good meat stew. If you could throw some meat my way, I'd make it worth your while. Well, <laughs> would you look at all that grub. <laughs> for a minute there, I thought we were going to have to make a stew out of you. But this meat should last us for a fair while. Thanks, stranger. Me brother was moaning about something or other earlier. Since you're being all friendly and that, you think you could help him out? The ghost of a dwarf king haunts this place. You may mock me, but I have seen it. It cast no shadow and had an eerie wibbly-wobbliness about it. Help me bring this foul spectre peace. It's the ghost of the Dwarf King. I knew it was real. Now that poor blighter can finally rest. Make no mistake, if I become a ghost, I'm going to haunt somewhere a lot nicer than this frightful place. Here, take this, and let us not linger any longer.
I came across some travelers ranting some madness about giant bats in this place. <laughs> giant bats, whatever next? I've heard some stories in my time, but... <gasps> Bless my ears, what monstrosities are those? Never did I think I would see such a thing. Maybe I've grown cynical of late. Perhaps there's even some merit to these otherworldly objects one of the other soldiers mentioned. My gratitude for helping this old elf open his mind. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine told me that by building a door onto certain seemingly ordinary walls, it can sometimes reveal a passage behind it. <laughs> Quite a story, don't you think? Supposedly, it's some kind of enchantment that creates these wizard walls. This should be one of them, but I think I'll need a pretty big door to try it out. Could you help me build one? That door should be more than enough to open the so-called wizard wall. The battering ram might have been slightly excessive, though. Would you like the honor of trying it out? <laughs> Goodness, it actually worked. Is there anything good back there? Ha! 
Carrots from the stash I keep for the horses. Oh, they sprouted legs and walked away. I can't ask the poor horses to press on on an empty stomach, especially with demonic walking carrots running free. You couldn't spare a few normal carrots, could you? That's very good of you. Thank you. I'll be sure to chop these little devils up in a jiffy before they get a chance to wander off as well. It's not much, but please, take this as payment. I'm waiting. <laughs> Mr. P. I say, where did that crazy old bird get to? I tells ya, you can't take two steps in this wood without a big old peacock giving you a shiny brick and telling you to hold it forever and ever until he comes back for it. Oh, Mr. Peacock, where did you go? <gasps> Mr. Peacock, you came back! Well, of course I didn't polish the plant pots. It's not my turn. No, oh, I can't talk to you when you're like this. Take your brick and leave me be. Young lads always wanted a tree house, but the trees around here are so high up, I find the idea a little dangerous. Call me overly protective, but 
I'm sure he could have just as much fun with something closer to the ground. What do you think? Is there something you could make to get the best of both worlds? with a tree house that's close to the ground. Yes, this is perfect. Oh, I'm sure my boy will complain that he still can't climb the tall trees, but he asked for a tree house, and a tree house is what we've made him. <laughs> oh, I do have a good technicality. <laughs> I saw something sparkly in that cave over there. Ahem. <clears throat> you there. Got a moment. Spiders. I hate spiders. Crawling about my kitchen like they own the place. But I've found their little nest, and I'm going to crawl all over their kitchens. By which I mean, I'm going to beat them up. You coming? Do I hate spiders? Oh, thanks for helping me thin them out. I'll give you a bellow if I need any more of the little blighters pummeling. do with a hand here. <laughs> Hello again, fellow exterminator. Thanks again for helping me thin out those spiders. But it looks like we missed one. And a big one at that. The Queen. If we don't take her down a peg, she'll only keep those blighters coming. So, when you're ready...
the beard of Durin do I hate those spiders. But with their queen gone, they should finally get the message and scurry off to somewhere else. Either that, or they'll come and exact horrible revenge on us both. <sighs> I'll be sleeping with one eye open. Thanks for watching. Remember to click the like and subscribe buttons and why not check out the videos that have just appeared on screen.